how to nail any ILS approach. Let's just say um, ATC gave us 051, cleared the approach, and let's go to our transition. We want to extend the center line now, so 017 for the runway heading, and then we'll execute. Now that line just runs um, forever. And we can press localizer. Now don't press approach because sometimes you won't be cleared for the approach. Um, so you just want to track the runway center line. And then come back and press approach once you're cleared for the approach. We'll take auto break 2. And... Um, We'll go back to the charts now because we want to know how much we're going to descend by. We'll take final approach fix, VMUG 2410. Go to our descent page. VMUG slash 2410. And then you can see it gives us our accurate burst in feet per minute to get to our final approach fix. You can see here the VOR and localizer is armed. It's flying in heading select mode at the moment. Of course it's green. VOR localizer captured and we can see we're turning on to the localizer here. Now let's just say we're cleared for the approach. Let's just say Let's descend um, underneath the glide slope for a second here. And I'm just going to show you once we go underneath it that um, say you're cleared approach, click approach. See the glide slope is armed. You'd think that you're flying on the ILS but you're actually still in verse mode. As you can see by the green verse and the white glide slope. So how do we get back onto the glide slope? Let's just take 250. And flaps 5. And now you can see we're back onto the glide slope because it's in green. Same thing would happen uh, if you pressed it too late. If you were flying below and then the glide slope came down and then you pressed approach, it wouldn't capture itself. And yeah, that's about uh, all you need to know. Everything else is standard. I'm pretty sure you know all that. I'm Aaron from 737 Simviator, and I'll see you in the next video. Hooroo!